Good morning, senior high school students! Welcome to the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. This is your virtual teacher, Miss Van. Congratulations for having successfully finished your week 5 lesson for second quarter. Now, you are about to learn week 6 lesson for the second quarter that is to do self and peer assessment of the creative adaptation of a literary text based on rationalized criteria prior to presentation. Are you ready to learn now? Let's begin! For your week 6 lesson in 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world, which is entitled Doing Self and or Peer Assessment of the Creative Adaptation of a Literary Text Based on Rationalized Criteria Prior to Presentation. From the title itself, we will be dealing with various samples of creative adaptation and how to assess it using rationalized criteria. And now, get your learning activity sheets in the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world, quarter 2, week 6. Do not forget your pen and paper and water to drink. Before we proceed to our topic this morning, let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever tried to write a story that makes you want to produce a movie on your own? Is it not amazing that the films we are enjoying now originally came from a book or Wattpad? That is how creative adaptation works. It makes an ordinary thing turns into something. For you to better understand our topic this morning, let's define a few terms. The term adaptation is derived from the Latin word adapto meaning to fit. Its dictionary definitions are the fact of adjusting to environmental conditions or the modification of an organism or its parts that makes it more fit for existence under its environmental conditions. That's according to Runco 1999. It also refers to the process of translating a creative work from one medium to another. That's according to study.com 2020. To put it simply, creative adaptation of a literary text converts a text to a different form or genre in which elements can be altered or modified depending on the purpose of the material. To understand better, some examples are provided for you. Moving forward, the focus of our lesson this week is on the sample of creative adaptation and how to assess it using rationalized criteria. Here are the creative adaptation examples. The first sample is films adapted from digital literature. Digital literature is a form of literature born in digital world, meaning the text was created on a laptop for example and uploaded to a blog or web page for online reading. This type of literature is not meant to be printed out because it may include several types of media such as images, sounds, videos, and hyperlinks. This work is not meant to be read on a computer. One of the best examples of digital literature is Wattpad. Have you heard about it? Wattpad is an online storytelling community where users post written works such as articles, stories, fanfictions, and poems, either through the website or the mobile app. The user-generated content is submitted by writers of all levels who are given an equal chance to write popular works. That's according to WordFinder 2020. Here are the two sample stories that had been published on the social website Batpad and later were adapted for film or television. Number one, Just the Way You Are. It is originally titled The Bet. It is a 2015 Filipino teen romantic comedy drama film directed by Theodore Boborol and written by Ma and Dimakulangan Falpulme and Ceres Helga. Starring the hit Forevermore tandem of Enrique Hill and Liza Severano, the film is based on the best-selling pop fiction book, The Bet, 
which was originally published on Wattpad by Kimberly Joy Villanueva. Another sample is This Time. It is a 2016 Philippine romantic drama film directed by Noel Crisostomo Naval, starring James Reed and Nadine Lustre. The film was closely based on Wattpad novel that one summer by Ali Almario. It was released on May 4, 2016 by Viva Films and Star Cinema and made 15 million pesos on its first opening day of showing. Be that as it may, the narrative has a level of affectionate poignancy that enforces the sentiments of the film's already familiar material. It's honest and imbued with incredible authenticity from the pair, granting the narrative a searing capacity to tug at the heartstrings. For more examples, here are the creative adaptations for a Philippine folktale, The Monkey and the Turtle, written by Dr. Jose Rizal. The second sample of creative adaptation is The Monkey and the Turtle. It is a Philippine folktale. You can make a creative adaptation by number one, through a modified story. The characters may be changed to rabbit and the goat, but the story can still begin with their friendship. The story can still focus on the storyline but may be changed also. This is a sample draft of a story plan. Notice that some elements of the original story were altered while some retained. This is the story. Go traveled far until he reached the place of Rabbit. Out of tiredness and hunger, he met Rabbit which gave him food and shelter. Rabbit told the goat not to eat it all the food. But the uncontrolled hunger made Go to eat it all. Rabbit kicked him out of the house and spent the rainy night outside. Rabbit realized his wrong action towards the new friend. So he asked forgiveness and let Goat stay in the house. They became friends and planted carrots and vegetables for their living. For this number one example, it is a creative adaptation through a modified story. The characters may be changed to Rabbit and Goat, but the story can still begin with their friendship. The story can still focus on the storyline but may be change also. And now, it's up to you on how are you going to make your creative adaptation through a modified story. The second is through multimedia. As the name implies, multimedia is the integration of multiple forms of media. This includes texts, graphics, audio, and video. An example for this is the modified presentation of the folktale, The Monkey and the Turtle. By using colored pictures or drawing and by inserting conversations, you will be able to create a literary adaptation in the form of multimedia. Here are the five elements of a short story that will help you in making your own storyline. Number one exposition or what we call the introduction it is the beginning of the story characters and setting are revealed number two rising action events in the story become complicated the problem is revealed number three climax this is the turning point of the story Readers wonder what will happen next. Number four, falling action. Resolution begins. Events start to fall into place. And lastly, resolution or what we call the conclusion. This is the outcome of the story. And that is the five elements of a short story that will help you in making your own storyline. This is a sample multimedia storyline using modified story. The title of this storyline is The Rabbit and the Goat. Notice that the story is presented through a storyline. It means you will use box in creating your story 
and show how the story progress. Notice that you can create your own characters and name them of your choice. The first box should show the exposition or the introduction. The setting and characters are revealed. Do not forget to use chat box for the conversation. The second box should show the rising action. The problem is revealed on this part. Third box is the climax. In here, the most highlighted part of the story should be showcased. Fourth box, falling action. The characters should make up and the lesson of the story should be revealed. And the last box is resolution or conclusion. In here, you will show how the story ended. Remember, do not forget to use chat box for the conversation. This is a sample of a multimedia storyline using modified story. Read, imagine, create. Now that you've learned how to make your own creative adaptation, now let us discuss the criteria on the assessment of a creative adaptation of a multimedia. When we see assessment criteria are descriptive statements that provide learners and instructors with information about qualities, characteristics, and aspects of a given learning task. While defined assessment criteria allow students to evaluate their work or peers' work more openly, consistently, and objectively. That's from Sadler, 1987. And now, this is the adopted criteria in assessing a multimedia storyline by Sadler's 2009. You can get exemplar, accomplish, or developing. Number one, we have the modified story. You can get a score of exemplar if there is a clear focus and purpose of the changes applied from the original texts. You can get accomplished if there is some attempt to create a focus and purpose of the changes applied from the original texts. And developing if there is limited attempt to create a focus and purpose of the changes applied from the original texts. Next, we have the use of images and media. You can get exemplar if the images and media create an atmosphere or tune that matches the modified story. You can get accomplished if the images and media create an atmosphere or tone of some points of the modified story. And developing if there is limited use of images and media to create an atmosphere or tone in the modified story. Next, we have the conversation among the characters. You can get exemplar if the modified story is told with an exact and right amount of words or dialogues. Accomplish if the modified story requires more words in some sections. Developing if the modified story requires a lot more details. Number four, we have the emotional consent. You can get the exemplar if the modified story clearly demonstrates engagement with the emotions of the writer. Accomplish if the modified story demonstrates engagement in some sections with the emotions of the writer. And developing if the modified story has limited engagement with the emotions of the writer. And lastly, the criteria, reflection. You can get exemplar if the writer has clearly reflected on his or her experiences which contributed a lot for the content of the modified story. Accomplish if the writer has reflected on his or her experiences in some sections of the modified story. And developing if the writer shows limited reflection on his or her experiences. And that is the adopted criteria in assessing a multimedia storyline by Sanders 2009. These are the criteria that you need to consider in doing self-assessment of a creative adaptation of a text through multimedia. Use this criteria when checking your own work for the improvement of your creative adaptation. Aim to target the exemplary descriptors as evidence that your work is in good quality. However, if your assessment did not meet all the exemplary descriptors, it means that you still have some areas to improve. 
work on your weaknesses after assessing yourself. Alright, we are done now with the discussion. Do you have any questions? How do you find the lesson so far? In the event there are unclear ideas, you can go back from the beginning of our video lesson. If everything is good now, we can start answering your activities. Let's go! Now, let us see if you understand our lesson. In your last, you have three activities to practice and to accomplish. What we will do now is we will take all the activities and try to explain them. And you will do all the activities by your own. For the first activity, activity A on page 4, read the famous Filipino one-act play entitled New Yorker in Tondo by Marcelino Agana and modify the story of your own. Observe the elements of a short story and make sure you follow all the instructions, okay? For the first activity, make sure you read it carefully and understand the short story. Like the example presented on your last, the story of the monkey and the turtle, on page 2 of your last. You can change the characters of it and name them by your own. The setting can also be changed of your preference. The criterion of giving points is based on this. Creativity, 4 points. Presentation, 3 points. Uniqueness, 3 points. Remember to use your imagination as you were a movie writer. Read, imagine, write. And one more thing, use this space for your answer. Let's proceed now to the next activity. For activity B on page 4 to 5, use the modified Filipino play New Yorker in Tundo and activity A to make a creative adaptation of a literary text through multimedia storyline. Draw and color the images using colored pens or use colored pictures in presenting the story. Use chat box in writing the conversation of the characters. For the second activity, refer to the given sample on page 2 to 3. You can make the story of your own multimedia storyline using the answer on the activity A. You can portray the story using multimedia. You can use cutout pictures, drawings, and colored pens for a creative presentation of your work. Do not forget to use chat box for each conversation of the characters. Read. Imagine, create. And now for the final activity. Use the modified rubric below to assess your creative adaptation on activity B. And here is the rubric. For the modified story, you can get 5 points or equivalent to exemplary if there is a clear focus and purpose of the changes applied from the original text. You can get 4 points or equivalent to accomplished if there is some attempt to create a focus and purpose of the changes applied from the original text. You can get 3 points or developing if there is limited attempt to create a focus and purpose of the changes applied from the original text. And now, for the use of images and media. You can get exemplary or 5 points if the images in media create an atmosphere or tone that matches the modified story. You can get accomplished or 4 points if the images in media create an atmosphere or tone for some points of the modified story. And then 3 points are developing if there is a limited use of images in media to create an atmosphere or tone in the modified story. And now, let's move on on the conversation among the characters. You can get 5 points if the modified story is told with the exact and right amount of words or dialogues. 4 points if the modified story requires more words in some sections. And 3 points are developing if the modified story requires a lot more details. And now, for the emotional content. You can get 5 points if the modified story clearly demonstrates engagement with the emotions of the writer. 4 points if the modified story demonstrates engagement in some sections with the emotions of the writer. 
and then 3 points if the modified story has limited engagement with the emotions of the writer. And lastly, the reflection. You can get exemplary or 5 points if the writer has clearly reflected on, on his or her experiences which contributed a lot for the content of a modified story. You can get 4 points or accomplish if the writer has reflected on his or her experiences in some sections of the modified story. And 3 points or developing if the writer shows limited reflection on his or her experiences. Okay, so that is the rubric you're going to use. After assessing your own work, write your score on the space provided and don't forget to answer the questions. How will you describe your self-assessment? What are your strengths and weaknesses? By answering these questions and doing the self-assessment of a creative adaptation of a text through multimedia, you will be able to check your own work for the improvement of your creative adaptation. Aim to target the exemplary descriptors as evidence that your work is in good quality. However, if your assessment did not meet all the exemplary descriptors, it means that you still have some areas to improve. Work on your weakness after assessing yourself and you will improve in no time. God bless and may you do your best in accomplishing this task. Now, let us see how well you reflect on the lessons you have studied. If you will be given a chance to transform the modified story into a film, name a story that you have read. It can be a movie or a drama. How will you make your creative adaptation in terms of A. Visual effect B. Sound effect C. Actor or actress performance Do not be afraid to answer because there is no wrong answer in reflective questions. Okay? Congratulations! You have successfully finished our lesson for this week. In this module, you were able to define what creative adaptation is. You have identified the creative adaptation sample like films adapted from digital literature and creative adaptation of the monkey and the turtle through a modified story and through a multimedia. Lastly, you have also learned the criteria on the assessment of a creative adaptation. With this learning, you will now be able to produce a quality creative adaptation of your own. Indeed, this has been a very productive lesson for you. By this time, I hope that you can apply whatever lessons you've learned in your daily conversation and discover yourself as a writer one day. You can apply the use of creative adaptation or the importance of assessing your own work on how to become a responsible and a creative writer one day. You can apply everything you have learned here. Do not forget these learnings for you can carry them with you as you move forward to the next level. Congratulations for finishing this lesson and may you continue doing well in the succeeding lessons. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead. This is Miss Van, your virtual teacher in the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world.